Ever wondered how power works inside your electronic devices? Why does your phone last for several days on a full charge? Or why your phone heats up while charging or how a light bulb illuminates? Why some devices get hotter than others when running? What magic allows laptops to be so thin and light, yet incredibly powerful? Why are data centers, the backbone of the internet, becoming more energy efficient? Is there a simple yet powerful equation that can explain it all? Today, we're diving deep into a fundamental law of physics that governs the flow of energy in electrical circuits, the power law. What exactly does this mean? And why is it so important for understanding everything from your smartphone to massive power grids? Welcome to Club Academia, where curiosity meets knowledge. If you're passionate about science, technology, and the wonders of our world, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving deep into power law, the formula P equal to IV, and how it shapes the world of electronics and energy. We will explain why it's important and why it is so fundamental to every technology you ever will use. We will explain how CPU and GPUs use this law to become more efficient. How your smartphone, laptop, or even gaming console manages to run demanding apps without draining the battery. By the end of this video, you'll be more knowledgeable and definitely a little wiser than when we got started. What is the power law? The power law is a mathematical equation that relates the power consumed by an electrical component to its voltage and current. The formula is P equal to IV. P stands for the power measured in watts, represented as W. Power is the rate at which energy is used or produced. I stands for the current measured in amperes, represented as A. Current is the flow of electric charge. V stands for the voltage, measured in volts, represented as V. Voltage is the electric potential difference that drives the current through a conductor. So, this equation tells us that power P is the product of current I and voltage V. To put it simply, the more current you have and the higher the voltage, the more power your circuit will consume or produce. It's a simple but fundamental relationship that explains how energy flows in almost every electrical system. From your home's power grid to tiny microchips and computers, let's look at a real-world analogy for the power law. Let's compare electrical power to water flowing through a pipe. Let's see how they are similar and how they work. The voltage is like the water pressure. Voltage is the electrical potential difference between two points. Just like a higher water pressure pushes more water through the pipe, a higher voltage pushes more current through a circuit. The current is like the flow rate, just like the water in the pipe. The electrical current, measured in amperes A, is the flow of electric charge through a conductor. The more water flowing through the pipe, or the more current flowing through the wire, the greater the flow. And the power is like the energy carried by the water. When water flows through a pipe, it carries energy. This energy can be used to turn a water wheel or generate electricity. Similarly, when electric current flows through a circuit, it carries electrical energy. This energy can be used to power lights, appliances, or any other electrical device. So, now that we know what P equal to IV means, let's talk about where it's used in the real world. The applications are everywhere, in fact, nearly every device you use depends on this formula. Let's take a look at a few key examples. First up, smartphones and laptops. Your devices use power all the time, charging the battery, running apps, playing music, or making calls. The battery inside your phone delivers voltage, and the current flows through the circuits as your phone uses power. In fact, the battery life is determined by how much power is being used P, based on the current I and voltage V coming from the battery. Every time you charge your phone, the charging circuit is using P equal to IV to determine how much energy is needed to recharge the battery. If the voltage is too high or the current is too low, it might damage the device or reduce its lifespan. Understanding P equal to IV is key for manufacturers to design batteries that last longer, devices that don't overheat, and charging systems that are more efficient. Next. Let's talk about power generation. From your home's power grid to massive power stations, P equal to IV is at work. Electrical grids use high voltage to transmit electricity over long distances because the higher the voltage, the lower the current, and the less energy is lost as heat. Once the power reaches your home, the voltage is reduced and the current increases to supply the energy needed for your appliances. Let's explore this in greater detail so that we can appreciate how electrical energy is delivered to our homes every day. Power law is behind how electricity reaches your home from power plants that might be hundreds of miles away. 
It's all thanks to a clever trick involving voltage and current. When electricity is transmitted over long distances, it's crucial to minimize energy loss. This is where the concept of voltage and current comes into play. Electrical power can be transmitted in different combinations of voltage and current. For instance, you can transmit a certain amount of power using a high voltage and low current, or a low voltage and high current. Now, here's the key. Power loss in a transmission line is primarily due to the resistance of the wires. This resistance causes energy to be dissipated as heat. The higher the current flowing through a wire, the greater the heat loss. That's why electrical grids use high voltage to transmit electricity over long distances. By increasing the voltage, we can decrease the current, significantly reducing the energy lost as heat. Once the electricity reaches your neighborhood, it needs to be transformed into a lower voltage, suitable for household use. This is where transformers come into play. A transformer is a device that can step up or step down voltage. In this case, it steps down the high voltage to a safer lower voltage. As the voltage decreases, the current increases, providing the necessary power to your home appliances. Next time you turn on a light switch or plug in a charger, remember the incredible journey that electricity takes to reach your home. From the power plant to your outlet, it's all a matter of balancing voltage and current to ensure efficient and safe power delivery. Power law plays an important role in delivering electrical energy to the world around. The equation helps engineers calculate the right balance of voltage and current to minimize energy loss and safely deliver power to your home. So every time you flick a switch or plug in your phone, you're experiencing the magic of P equal to IV in action. Now. Let's look at electric motors, which power everything from fans to electric cars. These motors work by converting electrical power P into mechanical power, and they rely on P equal to IV to determine how much electrical energy is needed to generate movement. By understanding this relationship, engineers can design motors that are more efficient, with just the right amount of current and voltage needed to power a device. Without the power law, we wouldn't be able to understand how to size and optimize electric motors, whether they're in a blender or a Tesla. Who came up with this concept? Well, the formula P equal to IV is actually an application of basic principles discovered by some of the greatest minds in physics, including Georg Simon Ohm and James Clerk Maxwell. Let's start with Ohm. In 1827, Ohm formulated Ohm's law, which relates voltage, current, and resistance. This is the foundation for understanding how power works in an electrical circuit. Maxwell, on the other hand, developed the field equations that describe how electromagnetic fields and energy move through space, essentially laying the groundwork for the development of modern electronics. So, while P equal to IV isn't a formula that was discovered by a single person in one moment, it's a culmination of many discoveries over the centuries that led us to understand how power is used and transferred in electrical systems. Check out our video on Ohm's law which explains how Ohm's law relates voltage, current, and resistance. Why is the power law important? Now, you might be wondering, why is P equal to IV so important? Well, this equation is crucial because it's at the heart of energy efficiency, device design, and power management. Understanding this formula allows engineers to make smarter decisions when designing circuits, batteries, and even power grids. Without this formula, we wouldn't be able to build energy-efficient devices, create sustainable power systems, or even safely transmit electricity over vast distances. Take renewable energy systems, like solar panels or wind turbines. These systems rely on power law calculations to ensure that the energy generated is used efficiently, without wasting energy through excessive current or heat. Whether you're designing a tiny microchip or managing an entire national power grid, P equal to IV gives you the tools you need to understand how power flows and how to optimize it. Now let's discuss CPUs and GPUs that power our digital world. The performance of a system, like a processor, the power consumption increases exponentially. Think of it like a car. The faster you go, the more fuel you burn. But in computing, we want that balance, speed without burning through battery life or overheating. In traditional CPUs, when designers push for higher performance, they often hit a point where the power consumption goes through the roof. More cores, more clock speed, and more features, all of these need more energy. And guess what? At a certain point, this can lead to inefficiencies, especially in mobile devices like smartphones, where battery life is everything. 
The ARM architecture is a family of reduced instruction set computing RISC architectures for computer processors. It is the most pervasive processor architecture in the world. With more than 300 billion ARM-based chips shipped, they are used in products ranging from sensors, wearables and smartphones, to supercomputers. ARM processors use the power law strategically. ARM doesn't focus on brute force. Instead, they focus on smart scaling. Their chips are built with a principle called heterogeneous computing, which means they use a combination of powerful cores and power-efficient cores working together. ARM chips, like those found in your smartphone or tablet, often use a setup called Big Got Little Architecture. The big cores are super powerful and handle demanding tasks like gaming or video editing, while the little cores are more power efficient, taking care of simple tasks like checking email or running background processes. Intelligently switching between these cores, ARM processors achieve the sweet spot between performance and power efficiency. This dynamic switching isn't random. It's designed to follow the power laws principle. The big cores push performance when needed, but don't overconsume power unless absolutely necessary. Meanwhile, the little cores take on the easy tasks, keeping things efficient and extending battery life. This combination allows ARM chips to maintain a high performance for intensive tasks, while avoiding the exponential power increase typical of traditional CPUs. The result? Mobile devices can last longer, run cooler, and handle high-demand tasks without draining your battery in the process. And ARM isn't just stopping at smartphones. Their designs are being used in everything from laptops to servers and even the latest gaming consoles. The power law is still at play, but ARM's approach allows them to unlock the best possible performance while keeping power consumption low, an essential factor in our world of always connected, mobile-first technology. So, how does this all tie back to the power law? Simply put, ARM processors don't just throw more power at performance. They apply the power law in a way that balances power and performance, ensuring that we get the best of both worlds. Speed when we need it, and efficiency when we don't. Thanks to the smart application of the power law, ARM processors are powering the next generation of tech. From ultra-efficient smartphones to blazing fast AI systems, we will cover ARM processors in greater detail in a separate video. Similar to CPUs, GPU designers utilize power law to increase the efficiency of GPUs. GPUs are designed to perform massively parallel computations, making them ideal for tasks like rendering graphics and machine learning. The key to GPU design is striking a balance between performance and power efficiency. While high performance is essential for demanding tasks, excessive power consumption can lead to thermal throttling, reduced performance, and increased energy costs. By carefully considering the power law and employing advanced techniques, GPU designers can create powerful and energy-efficient devices that push the boundaries of computing. Looking ahead, the importance of P equal to IV is only going to grow. With the rise of electric vehicles, smart cities, and even quantum computing, understanding how power works at different scales will be even more critical. New technologies will push the limits of power efficiency, and power law will be essential for designing everything from the smallest devices to the largest energy networks. Just imagine a world where power is managed more efficiently, devices charge in minutes, and entire cities run on sustainable energy. All because we understand the relationship between power, current, and voltage at a deeper level. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to Club Academia, and hit the bell icon for more fascinating content. What other technologies and topics would you like us to explore? Let us know in the comments below. Stay curious and keep questioning. Until next time, let's continue exploring the wonders of science and technology together at Club Academia.